I yeah. just want words to mean something, you know, mm-hmm. that's all. It's not too much to ask, is we're, it? We're, we live in the wrong time for that, Nas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we heard the discussion about Take Two saying, hey, review bombing might affect our bottom line on this. And some people are speculating, well, that sounds like they're preparing for the worst. Mm-hmm. I don't know if, uh, I think I said this last time, I don't know if that's the case or if it's just gearing up for what possibilities could uh what things could happen sorry words are hard today (laughs) words are really hard today what i'm trying to say is we don't know uh whether or not that's just preparing for the possibility or whether or not they actually think this is going to happen yeah yeah Uh, i would think after the review bombing that's been going on it's just it's just smart business to prepare just in case what's review bombing what Um, is review bombing uh, what, what's would, the difference between review bombing and people just leaving negative reviews because they're not happy with a game? Mm-hmm. Well, I think I think as far as that goes, the difference is when people are literally getting on there. They might not be personally happy with the game, but yeah, yeah. I've seen people that have like five, six accounts that will go on and just spread this negativity because they don't agree with, say, who the who the who the game sponsors for the olympics or something like that or <laughs> yeah, you know yeah. the the actor that that voice so and so did this like 20 years ago and i don't i don't think that they're a good person or whatever you know mm-hmm. what i mean um the review bombing is you know uh what can i use okay like so burning shores my horizon forbidden west dlc mm-hmm. it mm-hmm. had um the heroine fell in love with another female Mm -hmm. and so it review bombing would be like oh we don't like homosexuality we haven't played this game we don't know it but we're gonna try to boycott it and try to bring down the ratings so that people don't buy it because we don't agree with this yeah yeah so it would be something along those lines um that's kind of the only example i can think of um off the top of my head or um Oh, I don't, I don't like magic, you know, because it goes against my religion. So I'm going to review bomb Harry Potter, you know, yeah, like, yeah. I've seen stuff like that. So that, mm-hmm. that's what we mean by review bomb versus somebody that just gets on and leaves a negative review, but they don't like it. I don't know. It, it's just I mean, such a, a, it's one of those terms that you, it's used by so many people, meaning so many different things mm-hmm. to the point now where it's just kind of a boogeyman that doesn't. I mean, it means you have a definition that you you laid out, uh, Gigi, and mm-hmm. that's your definition of it. My definition of it would be different. Fox's definition might be different. Mm-hmm. Everybody's definition of it is different. But when we all Very use true. these same words, we all think we're meaning the same thing. Yeah, yeah. And it only takes mm-hmm. like asking questions to find out exactly right, right. what we're all talking about. And nobody ever wants to do that. I mean, mm-hmm. just want to continue using these terms because it's easier to do that than saying, well, I think it was a systematic camp. You know, it's easier to just say review bombing. But my right. point is we all attach different meaning to it. Yeah. And to, to be fair, though, there are some that do that, but there are some that really have issues with the game, you know, the gameplay. And what you're doing is like you're washing their criticisms you're just lumping it in with this umbrella term that isn't ex- mm-hmm. at all what they mean. You know, they have valid criticisms, yeah. but you're lumping them in with people who are, you know, uh, making surface level criticisms like, oh, I don't like, you know, this one part or this one part. It's like people who actually play the game. It's like, hey, I've, I've got criticisms. It's like, no, you're a toxic gamer. Shut your mouth. And it's like, no, <laughs> right. no, right. I have actual criticisms. You know, not a toxic gamer. I just, it's not as great as you're making it out to be. (laughs) You know what I mean? So, I mean, it seems like the distinction there is what's perceived as a legitimate criticism Mm -hmm. and what's not. Yeah. 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 So then who decides what's legitimate or not? That's that's also true. If I don't, if somebody doesn't want to see a same sex relationship in their game and they give it a negative review in part because of that or wholly because of that, is that is that legit mm. it's it's it if it, it goes against their own them. personal principles yeah perhaps to me so it's that... legit for them and for people that have mm. the same feelings right on um, okay i might not like it or agree with it but right. i have no right to tell them that they shouldn't think or feel that way yeah yeah, yeah. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. so you're and so kind of dehumanizing right. people when you do that 
Yeah, you know what and I mean? Toxic, right? You know, like sometimes I'll speak up about a game and people will be like, "Man, you're toxic," and I'm like, "No, that that's like what? my opinion. Wow. Those are my thoughts. Yeah, those that's how I feel about that game. Mm -hmm. Like, why I do, tried why do they say that you're toxic though? Uh, why, just, they, they call you toxic. Why? Um, What's behind that? Yeah, because you know. Because you disagree and they don't want to find out why so. you disagree? I think so. Could, or yeah. sometimes sometimes I don't come across as sweet. So, right. Well, uh, uh, to you me... know, like sometimes I'm just, you know, really, I, like I've been told that I'm so honest, I'm mean. And I'm mm -hmm. like, well, I don't mean to be. Or right. like my total voice um, will reflect something like I'll joke with my kids and they'll be like, I really don't know if you're serious right now mm. or not. Like, okay. You mm. know, um, so it could be the, the way that I... I presented it or my tone of voice mm -hmm. or the fact that because I don't agree with them. Right. I'm suddenly toxic because that's, a, that's another thing. Yeah. You it's know, a quick label. right. Yeah. Um, yeah. But again, it's just like you said, we all like, we've all gotten used to this kind of, well, it's this, it's this, it's this. And yeah. those are the words we use. Um, mm -hmm. So, I mean, it just, things, We're things are different for everybody. So, it's, yes, it's know. this wonderfully uh, nebulous term mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. because of its nature, because of the fact that nobody can really define exactly what, or nobody wants to define exactly what review bombing is, it can just be kind of used situationally. If a yeah. game's doing badly because mm -hmm. it deserves to do badly, it's a crap game that's buggy and the yeah, story yeah. is a mess mm -hmm. and the developers come out and attack fans and then people give it negative reviews. Is that review bombing? That's true. And no, but no. can they say yeah. that it is in order to get sympathy? Absolutely. Yeah. In order it was... to justify to their investors, their shareholders, this is why the game's doing badly because of this mm -hmm. campaign. Assuming that mm -hmm. by saying campaign, you're assuming that everybody got together and all agreed to do this. <laughs> can you prove that? <laughs> it's right I just I don't like seeing it used because it's it's another one of those terms that after a while just ends up being meaningless. Yeah. You think it's review bombing, okay, fine. If you think that the burden of proof should be on you to demonstrate how it is yeah. review bombing first define your parameters this is what i think review bombing is and then demonstrate this is these are all of the things that happen that mm -hmm. are consistent with what i've laid out in my guidelines if you can't do that shut up and stop using the term if you won't do that shut up and stop using the damn term yeah yeah um we're gonna get back on the 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 tracks here <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> that was a good aside, though. I, it's it's okay, though. Yeah, and I do like the different opinions for sure because it opens up a lot of you know a lot of areas we can go with this. We'll say I that just for want another words stream. To mean something, I <laughs> yeah. just want words to mean something. You know, mm -hmm. that's all. It's not too much to ask, is it? We're, we're, we live in the wrong time for that, Nas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out the Casual Consumers live stream every Saturday. Xavier.